for this video, I'm going to be replacing the front drive shaft assembly in my 2007 Hummer H3. To do this, I'm going to have to jack up the vehicle and place it on jack stands. I want to make sure I chuck the back tires and put the emergency brake on to ensure the truck doesn't roll while I'm jacking it up. I then want to place the truck in neutral and I'm ready to jack it up. Once the truck is on jack stands, I want to release the emergency brake and use a 13 millimeter socket to remove the protective skid plate, which will allow access to the transfer case and CV joint. With the skid plate removed, I'm able to see the old grease which was flung everywhere due to a tear in the CV boot. Now I want to place a screwdriver through the U-joint which is used to keep the drive shaft from spinning so I can loosen the bolts using an 11 millimeter socket. I'm going to start with the bolts that attach the CV joint to the transfer case flange. After the accessible two are loose, I'm going to remove the screwdriver from the U-joint, rotate the drive shaft 180 degrees so I can access the other two bolts. Okay, now that all the bolts have been broken loose, I'm going to remove them and let the drive shaft rest on the cross member. Next, I want to remove the U-joint from the front differential yoke. Once again, I'm using a screwdriver to hold the drive shaft in place while I use an 11 millimeter socket to break loose the bolts. Going to remove the two bolts on the bottom, then remove the screwdriver, rotate the drive shaft, and remove the other two. With all the bolts removed, I'm going to use a screwdriver to pop loose the U-joint from the yoke and slide the assembly forward to remove it from the vehicle.
as you can see, there are a couple of tears in the CV boot which allowed all the grease to seep out. Rather than replacing the CV joint, I figured I'd replace the entire assembly. I purchased a new assembly off of Amazon which costed about $184. I'm now going to slide the new assembly over the cross member, remove the zip tie, and bolt it into the transfer case flange using the same method as removal. With the bolts hand tightened on the CV joint, I'm now going to install the U joint on the front of the assembly to the front differential yoke. One thing worth noting is make sure you hold the caps on the U joint in place so they don't slide off. I'm also using Loctite on the bolts to ensure they won't come loose. Okay, now that all the bolts are hand tightened, I'm going to torque the bolts on the CV joint to 45 foot-pounds of pressure. And the bolts on the U joint to 18 foot-pounds of pressure. Now all I need to do is bolt back on the protective skid plate, lower the vehicle, and I'm done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to be sure you're notified of upcoming videos from Deadfish Media.